only a few weeks away now from the big stage, the 2023 AFL Grand Final. But currently, we need to get through my semi-finals tips and predictions for the 2023 season. Obviously, only two games this week. So it's going to be a bit of a shorter and sweeter video than, obviously, well, my tipping videos in the past. Finals week one, I managed to get four out of four tips correct. I tipped everyone who did get up, which is actually a very good round. And, well, certainly not something I've been able to do during the home and away season. So good to get a perfect round. It always feels nice. We have two massive semi-finals ahead of us between, well, the first one, Melbourne and Carlton at the MCG. Melbourne knocked off by seven points against the Pies in the first week of finals in just like a shocking game of footy. The, the, the standard was like so high. Like, obviously, two, two of the best teams in the comp, Collingwood and Melbourne at the moment. So the footy was just like so congested and it was hard to score because of how good the both both of the teams were. So 53 to 60 final scores. Collingwood will progress into our own prelim. However, the, the, the uh, Ds now, sorry, have to come up against a firing hot Carlton Outfit, who, well, looked to, to be, like, getting it done by about four goals, the baggers, and then ended up choking a few goals late and only ended up getting it done by, what was it, like, under 10 points. It was a pretty close finish, actually, between the Blues and the Swans. However, the Blues got the better of them. We saw the dismissals of Sydney and also St. Kilda in the first week of finals, and Carlton and GWS progressed, progressed sorry, <laughs> Onto this second round. Melbourne v Carlton at the G. And I did obviously do my finals predictions a couple of weeks ago. My entire finals predictions. And I did say that Carlton were going to win two in a row. And they're going to go into a prelim final. And I'm going to lock that in. And I'm going to stay with what my prediction was a couple of weeks ago. I'm tipping the Blues to get up over the Ds. I'm tipping the Ds to get out in straight sets. Which might be a little bit stiff. But I just feel like there's something about the Blues. They've got so much momentum at the moment. They're playing incredible footy. If they didn't lose that game against the Giants coming in finals, well, that would be even hotter than they are. But they're a bloody good side. And I reckon they'll progress on to face Brisbane in an away preliminary final at the Gabba, which is going to be really tough for the Baggers. Don't know if they'll get that one done. But I feel like this week against the Blues... I reckon, uh, sorry, against the Ds. I reckon they've got it in them. They played, obviously, just a few weeks back. It was like well, it was a month ago, if that. And, well, Petrarca's goal from outside 50. Pro it, it probably was a goal, but it was called touched. Had to go umpire's call there. So, it was touched behind. And the Blues did get the better of them. Uh, better of the Ds at the G as well. So, same venue. Same teams. Like, not much has changed. It's just finals footy now. So, it'll be a much bigger crowd. It'll be sold out. I think it's already sold out. Like, tickets went on sale a couple of days ago. So, I reckon the Blues progress into a an away preliminary final against, well, the Lions at the Gabba. We move on to the second semi-final. And the last one of the week, it is Port Adelaide and GWS. Very interesting matchup. Port Adelaide just got absolutely smoked by Brisbane at the Gabba, but that's sort of what we we're all expecting. Brisbane at the Gabba obviously undefeated this year, so it was really going to be a difficult challenge for Port Adelaide to come up and defeat, well, an undefeated side at their home deck in front of their home crowd. Like, it just would have been def definitely difficult. But Port finished inside the top four, obviously, so they get the second chance coming into the semi-finals, and they're taking on a very, very hot giant side, bro. They have... I saw this stat, I think, what have they won? At, at, 11, at 11 different venues this year, which is mostly more than everyone... Um, every, every team in the league. So it's going to be a huge, huge challenge for the Giants, but I genuinely think they're up for it. And I'm backing them in to get this one done. I'm backing in the Giants to get this one done. And I'm backing in the two losers of the top four sides to go out in straight sets. Port Adelaide out in straight sets and Melbourne out in straight sets. I did predict in my finals series tips a few weeks back that the Giants were going to win the elimination final against the Saints, which they did. And I reckon they're going to win the semi-final against Port Adelaide at Port's home ground. Like, think about it. Adelaide Oval, they've won there this year before. However, they got smoked by Port in the home and away season there. So it's going to be a very, very big challenge to go over to Port Adelaide. Face them in front of their home crowd. Be marginalised just insanely by the fans as well. Like, there's going to be hardly any Giants fans there. I was at the Saints-Giants final, and i got to say it's one of the deadest games I've ever been to. There were 68,000 people in the stands. It wasn't too bad. The Saints, well, the Saints fans, I don't know. They just look after every decision. And, well, the Giants, they got up fair and square, and it was a good game of footy. The Giants, they got a few fans coming out on, uh, at the G last week, but that's probably because, obviously, it wasn't a sellout, so they were able to just get as many tickets as they wanted to. But at Adelaide Oval, they're going to be marginalised heaps, and, well, it's going to be difficult to get up over the power. However, they've won Adelaide Oval this year before, and Port Adelaide coming off a slumpy loss against Brisbane. So it's, it is genuinely possible. So I'm going to stick with my predictions that I did uh, that I did call a few weeks ago in my 2023 finals predictions, the whole overview. 
So I reckon the, the Blues get up over the Ds. I'll back, in it, back them in together down by 14 points, I reckon, on that Friday night. And on the Saturday night, Port Adelaide GWS, I reckon GWS get up by two points, four points. It's going to be a close game. It'll be under a goal. Toby Green going to star it out as well on the so night. So with my predictions, that leaves the first preliminary final between Collingwood and GWS at the MCG and the second preliminary final, Brisbane and Carlton at the Gabba. So both blockbuster games. I'm still sticking with my predictions from my final series tips a few weeks ago. I don't think it'll change, but depending on the results this week, I'll obviously be back next week to predict well the preliminary finals, and that's going to be a huge video. It's going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 7K by the end of the year. I'm trying to get the content more, uh, out more frequently. I've got a lot of videos planned, actually. Weekly vlogs coming in a return as well, so look out for that in the next few days because that is well, well overdue. I was supposed to get that out at the start of the week. But nonetheless, it'll be out in the next few days, so stay tuned for that. Cheers for watching. Huge week of footy ahead of us. I hope you all enjoy the games, whether you're going or just watching at home. I hope you have a good time. Uh, yeah, spend it with your family, your friends, and just, yeah, have a, have a great night for these finals games. And I'll see you all, well, in my next video. Cheers for watching.